All right, this is the pawing drill. So I think of like kind of like a cat or a dog. They've got paws, right? And what, what does a dog do? It paws at you, right? And it's kind of like a, it pushes up and it kind of pulls back and pulls down. So a pawing is kind of this motion of pulling back, forward and back. So the, the concept in this drill is working on that last second to last step of grabbing the ground and pulling it backwards. You're pawing the ground. So think about it, I got some grass right here. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get in that dorsiflex position, which is foot up at about 90 degrees, activating my, I'm really tightening out that Achilles tendon because if you notice, toes or foot pointed down, that Achilles tendon's loose. You point that foot up, dorsiflex position, now that Achilles tendon's real tight. We always want tight tendons, right? We're elastic jumpers. So now I'm up, we do the, uh, if we do the quick dorsiflex movement, right? We just move our legs down, trying to keep our foot locked the whole time. Okay, so I'm comfortable with this. Now I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna try to keep that toe up and I'm gonna try to grab the grass and kind of pull it behind us. So now I'm trying to just grab some of the grass, throw it behind me, but I'm trying to do this, making sure I don't point my toe when I do this. I'm grabbing the ground, flat foot with my foot up, and I'm trying to almost do it flat footed. It's very important that they can understand the concept of doing it with my toe and doing it flat because, check this out, if my toe is pointed, if my plantar flex, right, stepping on a plant, plantar dorsiflex, just foot up, I'm gonna land out in front of me, right? If my foot is flat or pointed. If it's up, normally I'd hit here. Now if it's up, I can pull it back a little more. That more is more under me. So I'm here. Now I can kind of just work on going flat footed right here. This kind of pawing action, getting that concept. And then once I get comfortable with that, then I can just let myself sink. So now I'm doing this, boom, 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 boom. I'm working on that backwards pawing action and then catching myself. Once I get comfortable with that, I'm gonna try to catch myself and move forward. So boom, 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 boom. I don't want them to go toe because then, guess what? That Achilles tendon's all loose, right? So if it's loose, then I have to lower it, which tightens it and then push. Well, that's twice as much work. I already want this loaded up. I want to lay flat footed so that I can sink my hips a little bit. And as I roll over, we'll talk about torso position and all this in a future drill. But for now, Paul, move forward. Paul, 